Good morning, Stover Middle School. I look forward to seeing you later on today to talk about spoken word, to share spoken word with you. But what you're about to view is a previously recorded video that I did for my school here at Longleaf Middle School. And I just want to share it with you and I hope you enjoy it. See you later. Hi, Longleaf Leopards. This is Ms. Jenkins, the AVID teacher. And I am very elated, very ecstatic to share one of my pieces with you, one of my poems with you. It's entitled, Because of Them We Can, and I am very grateful for Mrs. Counts inviting me to showcase my heart with you. Um, because of Them We Can is actually a website. Um, they have social media handles on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I love how they highlight the achievements, not only from African-Americans from our past, but they also highlight the achievements of African-Americans from our present. People as young as you are highlighted on this website or highlighted on the social media about their achievements and their great feats. So I would strongly recommend that you follow them. But again, this poem is called Because of Them, We Can. Hope this inspires you to be great or continue to be great. I am the legacy my great, great, great grandmother prayed for. See, I'm sitting in a room that was one inaccessible to them. I'm enjoying the fruits of their labor, protests, marches, rallies, interrupted by rip skin due to dog bites and fire truck hoses, limped away with bruises from the constant collision of bats and nightsticks, brick shattering their windows, burning crosses on their lawns, death threats, bombs killing the innocent, bullets shot to intimidate, paralyzed to fight. I am the beacon of hope, the light shining as a testimony I have overcome, not saying we don't endure some hardship, but I am not gonna stop appreciating what my ancestors have did for me. I'm not caring about being labeled a nerd or a geek. I'm getting what is rightfully mine, what I am worthy of, what am I incapable of, because some people are not alive. See, they die to ensure that my right to the reality was attained and not an unattainable dream. So who am I to waste it? Excellence flows through me. Mediocrity is beneath me. I am more than an athlete. I am the heartbeat of those who want it better for me. They didn't let Jim Crow stop what God promised. I am a trailblazer in my own right. Nevertheless, I don't forget the fight that created a pathway for me to determine my destiny. I'm refusing to fall victim to the identities, the stereotypical of my people dropping out of the school system and overcrowding prisons. See, I refuse to be on the corner with no goals and no ambition. There is no excuse when I come from a long lineage, royalty, ancestors who gave me the image, not the disillusion, but they actually became investors, inventors, professors, politicians, doctors, lawyers, actors, millionaires in a world they weren't accepted. They were constantly defiled with sit in the back or give up your seat and no, you can't go and sit and go to school with us and no, we don't serve your kind and no, your place boy. When there wasn't a road built for them, they created one. There are no excuses when I have all the tools. I am a torchbearer. I have a responsibility to go higher, defy gravity, achieve greater than those who went before me. I'm making them happy. They're overjoyed. The mortification and the torment was worth it. Their tears and blood wasn't wasted. Their fight wasn't in vain. The victory isn't tainted. I am the hope, the dream, their reality, their legacy. Thank you.